I'm going to show you how you can generate an RSS feed for Airtable views. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So the idea here is we have a table and each one of these records, we want to be representative of an, a, a, an article or an item in that RSS feed. And I've actually already produced an RSS feed out of this table and I've added it to this RSS reader that I have. And what you'll notice here is each one of these items is actually a record in Airtable. And if you made changes to the Airtable, you know, whenever the RSS reader syncs those changes, those changes will be reflected. So you essentially have a full RSS reader system through Airtable. And you get to choose, you know, the name of the feed, the title for each record, and the body, and the publish date, and things like that. I'll show you how you set this up now. Start by filling up your user API key, then select the base that you'd like to use, and then select the table that you'd like to use. Now, if you'd like only a subset of your records to be shown and uh, a subset of, of uh, like a filter from Airtable, you can choose a view here to do that. Next, we'll choose a title for the feed. This is this thing right here. So in my title, I'm gonna say demo RSS feed. And then the next thing is the title for each item. So you get to choose an Airtable field that will be shown for the title here. So in my case, let's say name. And then the description, this is this thing right here. So in my case, I'll do description, actually I'll do notes. And next I'll do the URL. So this is what happens if someone clicks on it, right? So if you click on an RSS feed, normally you're taken to, to a web page. So um, we, we choose that URL there. And the publish date for me is going to be, let's see, I'm not sure if I, I have one right here. All right, let's save. And then, so this share URL right here is actually your RSS feed URL. So let's copy this thing and let's go into this RSS reader and try adding a new RSS feed. Now let's go here, add an RSS feed, add. One thing I wanted to mention, by the way, is that the RSS feed is not uh, something that like we generate and leave over time. It's actually always live. So whenever the RSS reader asks us for the latest articles, we always give them what you have in Airtable. So there isn't like some weird cache thing. The, the RSS reader itself might be doing some caching, so it might be a little bit delayed, but we actually hand them every single time the most recent information. So I'll go back now and see my, my records. So we'll see a mix of both, but let's filter by the ones that I added only. And as you can see, these are all my records. I can show you the table here too to, to get you to, to, to show you a sense of what I mean here. Every single one of those is a record that you can see here. For example, this record you can see is over there and so on and so forth. And if you click on it, you get the full view and you can click on this to be able to see the web page that it takes you to.